when I was a small child had nothing to do with the drive-ins at that time. Just the experience of going, I can remember that to this day. And so I'm hoping that from tradition to tradition to to tradition, it uh, continues to go on. The drive-in actually was built in 1968 and opened in 1969. Uh, the first family that owned it uh, owned possession of it until the late 80s, and that's when my father bought it in the late 80s. And uh, someone in my family since the late 80s has owned it, whether it be my dad, my sister and brother-in-law, or myself, and I've been involved with it about the last six years. We run movies uh, pretty much March through October, November, depending on the weather. And uh, naturally around summertime, we gear towards the family, children, out of school type thing. So we run a lot of animated movies, things like that. We also try to do some special things we've done. Uh, Halloween's coming up and we try to do something like trunk or treat or best costume or something like that. We hold a couple of car shows uh, each season. Americans love their automobiles, and that's, of course, how the uh, drive-in theater business was born. In the spring, we usually do the old cars, 1972 or older, and I just love that era, the muscle cars, uh, the old cars that you don't see every day. To see them all right here, up to 200 of them uh, in our parking lot, it's, it's really uh, a great experience. Really, it's hard to believe, but over the nine acres that we have here, um, there's no bad spot. But probably if I had to say, uh, if I'm with my family, I want to be right up front on the grass, lay out the blanket, be right there to where I can turn on the, uh, the radio and hear it. Um, if I'm uh, not with my family, then I'd like to be maybe four or five rows back, because the picture's just as great and the sound's good wherever you're at, because it's coming from your car. I'm going to get it. I like the idea of, pulling your pickup truck in and sitting in the back of it and uh, having your blanket or your pillow or, or whatever and watching it that way. Being out under the stars in the wide open, it just really relaxes you. Uh, makes you get in the mood of wanting to watch a movie, be with family. Uh, the freshness of the clean air. Um, and in an odd kind of way, the uh, surroundings that go on around you. The people who are walking around, people will say, hey, I had a truck like that when I was growing up, or you know, just some kind of memory like that. So it's really neat. And even our favorite people who go by our theater while the movie's playing and honk their horn, that's, that's something that it may be a little irritating to some, but it's, it's a part of that unique drive-in experience. I, I loved going and to walk in the parking lot and see the kids in their footy pajamas and have their homemade popcorn and just having a great time, that's, uh, that's something that you, uh, it's priceless. In the heyday of drive-ins, there were nearly 5,000 in the United States, and now we're talking to where there's only 300 and something left. I believe Kentucky's last count was about 11. Um, moving to a digital format is very costly for a seasonal business like a drive-in theater, and so not all of them have been able to transition. So. Uh, for people to uh, say, hey, I haven't been to a drive-in in a while, I should go out and support them because we don't want to lose them. Because every year since I've been in here monitoring it, uh, communities are losing drive-ins. Most drive-in theaters are family owned and family operated. So getting out and supporting them uh, really helps keep that, that, uh, that experience in your community. We're very fortunate. We get a lot of our business from Tennessee and uh, probably without Tennessee, uh, we would not be able to survive. So uh, they really support us quite a bit. It's our people who come back, you know, several times this season that really keep us going and support us well. Word of mouth has been a great thing. Of course, we've been here 46 years and uh, uh, people know about the Franklin Drive-In. People now who have grown up with it are now bringing their kids who are now bringing their kids. And uh, so anytime you get out here to where you get to experience a movie under the stars, uh, in the comforts of your car or sitting out in a lawn chair or playing ball with your kids out in the front grass area. Uh, it's just something that I tell everybody that you can go to the movies anywhere, but if you want to create memories, you come to the drive-in theater. If you walk into an indoor theater, um, you don't always get that experience because you walk in, catch the movie, and walk out. 
Here you can come early, be with family and friends. You can even, after the movie's over, take your time, close up, meet with friends that you haven't seen for a while. We've, uh, every year that we've been here, over the last six years that I've been here, we've done something a little bit different to expand, whether it's more capacity in our kitchen or uh, bringing our drink fountains out to the lobby. Um, so we look at it every time and, and try to do that. And we made the conversion. This is now our second season that we're in di digital. So we would like to expand. Um, we are landlocked to some extent, uh, farmers on the side of us and, and other properties. So we don't know that we can expand here, but maybe someday uh, other areas in our, in our region, we might be able to bring more drive-ins to the area.